Hello. Hello. What are you doing? Looking at a cock. Dirty. You dirty, dirty. Hey, welcome back to our stupid rags. It's of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon, follow us on Twitter, subscribe, and the like button. Oh! Oh, my nipples are ready. <laughs> Always need to prep the nipples. Yes. <laughs> you ever had nipple clamps on? Uh, technically, no. You're thinking about it. Yeah, technically, no. <laughs> I've had things that have been clamped on my nipples, but they weren't store bought nipple clamps. Today, we're doing a movie review. <laughs> <laughs> Very fitting opening for this film. Yeah, for this film. <laughs> Perfect opening for the family friendly. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, everybody. Long away. There's going to be so yeah, many who yeah. saw the review and they're yeah. like, oh, great. We started off with a cock. Oh, yeah. Then we. Oh, yeah, anyway. So sorry. Uh, the long awaited review for us, because we. Uh, Remember, we had been. Uh, Teach the kids. Known about this film very early on, I think. I think, wow. we, I think we reacted to this extremely early on in the channel. Yeah. Because um, we were exploring Amir Khan. I think we reacted to the, the trailer. All that kind of stuff. Uh, and we just had yet to get to it. Um, but it's a 2017 film, Secret Superstar. Superstar. Not to be confused with Superstar Rajnika. When he's hiding. Not in this film. When he's hiding, he's Secret Superstar. Oh, well. Yeah, you if go. you play hide and seek with him, he becomes the Secret Superstar. Directed by um, Advait Chandan. Who is also the director of Lal Singh Chada. Yeah. Uh, as well. The movie that everybody's watching and now realizing was great. Um, <laughs> he also wrote the screenplay for this. It was produced by Amir Khan. Yes. And he also has a supporting role. He's not the star of this film. No, he's the jockstrap of the yeah, show. Yeah, he's jockstrap of the yeah, show. Yeah, he's the supporter. Uh, and it's starring... Um, Zera Wasim. Whom we've seen in Dongle, The Sky's Pink, and multiple other things. Really talented well, actors. Well, those three. Uh, really this talented one actors. Also, Mira. Uh, yep, Mihir Vij plays uh, mom, right? Yeah, who yeah. we've seen in a few Mihir things Vij. as well. And then uh, Raj Arjun as well, who we've also seen in quite a few things. Yep. <clears throat> but obviously, it's going to be 100% in one of you. It's came out in 2017. Most everybody. It's Somebody's actually, it. I think, one of the highest grossing uh, in terms of how much it made in comparison to how much it was. Mm. I think I sort of, like, it was. Well, well, it did really, yeah, really, really well. Really well, well. I don't, I don't know specific. I don't follow box office, as you guys know. I just people told me that. So it'll be a hundred cents worth if you've ever watched it. We saw it on Netflix. Was it Netflix? It was Netflix. Was it Netflix? It absolutely was. But uh, so if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back, Rick. Your initial thoughts, please. Well, for those of you keeping score at home, this is our thirty-fifth Hindi film no of twenty twenty-two. Absolutely nobody. Our one hundred sixty-fourth <laughs> Hindi film all time. Wow, almost at two hundred. Our 60th film of 2022, our 267th film of all time. 267? 267. Okay. We're, gonna, we're close to 300. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what did you think I would think of this movie? I thought you'd like it. Did you not? Yeah. This is, I'm, I just, uh, when it ended, I, I had been watching it and and Drani was doing her own thing, and I said to her, I just, I'm a sap for everything that Amir Khan touches that is family friendly and has a nice message. And there's a lot of things I'll talk about in regard to, you know, the details of what I liked and what I didn't like. Because yeah. there were some things I didn't oh, yeah. like, of yeah, course. Of course. Yeah. But yeah, I this overall, is, you'd like the film. Overall, I. There, I have way more that I like about this this movie than I don't like. I, I really, really liked it. Yeah, it's. Um, did you cry? No, I didn't. No, not cry. the end. Okay. No. So I saw I, so, some people said they were uh, they were. I saw Jimmy's review, and he said he apparently watched on a train. He said if he wasn't on a train, he would have wept. Oh, ha, if I said I, stop with the toxic masculinity, Jimmy. Seriously, God, if so I toxic. if I had just been in the throes <sighs> of full absorption. Yes, if I had been alone, which I often, oftentimes watch movies in the throes of passion. In the throes yeah, of passion, that explains a lot. It explains some of the ones I don't like, <laughs> um, because <laughs> Paris. Anyway, um, <laughs> I <laughs> because I I got a couple of phone calls and texts that I had to pause it that pertained to stuff going on with my dad. Mm. 
that pulled me out of what would have been the normal flow. If I had been in it from start to end uninterrupted, mm. I probably would have gotten a little misty eyed. I wouldn't have been sobbing. It yeah. wouldn't have been, you know, uh, the, the full cry. But it, it did. And there were some moments in it that were just too adorable to not yeah. love. Yeah. I, uh, I loved this movie. Mm -hmm. I, I really did. Uh, me and my wife watched it. And it was one of those films, and not like this is like, I'm not saying like a Kumbalanji Nights that I think is just no, this it's not that kind but of. But it wasn't trying to be that film either. It's, no, it doesn't want to be. It was be that trying kind of to film. give you a, a, a good message in a yep. commercial, family friendly film. That's it. Just like Mimi does, just yep. like Jaishta Jo, whatever that Ranveer one right, this year right, was right. that everyone hated that we loved. I know that we love. Your guys are weird. I love the list you did on Twitter. I know, man. Yeah. People are so weird Makes to me. Makes no sense. Uh, but these style of films that are just so commercial. I just had a smile on my face the, the entire time. time. Well, not the whole well, time. There's yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> not the whole time. Not the whole time. But like, even though there are some moments in it that they did really well, and I think the protagonist in this did really, really well um, in 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 his job or the antagonist. Sorry, I know who you meant. Um, yeah. Uh, and there were some really moments in this that were like intense and like yeah. awful and yeah. know, gut wrenching, right? Yeah. Um, but they it's still kind of like Mimi always went back to that happy. You you knew it was going to end well. Yes, which I love. Uh, uh, it rom rom coms you know are always usually going to. They end well. do, and this is one of my favorite things about m a lot of American films, and there's a place for it. So to me, there's two things that cinema does in its storytelling capacity because movies are storytelling, and there's always a moral to the story. One of the things that cinema does is hold up a mirror to the world and shows you how it is mm -hmm. or was. Right. Yeah. Another way is to show you how we wish it could be mm. or how it ought to be yeah. and amir khan way more than not shows you the things about the best in us and mm. what we really wish the best of us could be and i don't know how you can't like that yeah it's very easy for me to be forgiving of some of the other things that aren't expressly artistic because the goal in this kind of a film isn't to do that it's kind of the bonus you get it's like having a a, a really nice dessert mm. and then discovering the whipped cream was homemade mm. it's like the dessert was great but oh my goodness in addition to it and i i felt especially our young lady carrying the yeah. film i i thought she did an exceptional job she's done exceptional on everything everything she's, we've seen her. i mean the three films right that that she's been in and i don't know what she's doing now because i don't see I, anything from 2019 on. I did a little homework. She's referred to, if you look her up, it says former actress. Oh, okay. And my... Studying on school for, for now? No, no, no. She she got a lot of hate. What? Yeah, she got a lot of hate, and it has to do with religious things. And if for some... In some way, shape, or form, if this Bullying got... Bullying children is fun. If this got to Zara in some way, shape, or form... If you still love acting, because you're gifted and... Oh, very gifted. You're a really, really good actress. Oh, very. And have been since a really young age. Please don't not pursue it. If it's for other reasons and she's at peace with that, mm. totally cool. Yeah. But if she stopped doing it because of all of the hate and things of that nature, that's a that's a loss for the industry because oh, she's yeah. a very talented... Very talented actress. Very talented very actress. sad if she... Uh, hung it up for good. Me too. Uh, because I think uh, it's hard to find good child actors, honestly. Uh, she has so many natural instincts that are. Uh, she had some difficult things to oh, do in this did. film, like the the scene where um, the dad is about to beat the mom and he tells the kids to go into the other room. Her little brother did great too. Yeah, um, and uh, she goes in the and all you hear you don't see obviously uh, the dad beating the mom. You just hear it and then you see her yeah. reaction and she does a, a fantastic. I don't know well, how old she is. It's but, not a surprise. That the casting was so good because one of the casting directors is Abhishek Banerjee. <laughs> but the three main kids, her, her brother. And the love interest? Yes. Yeah, he was adorable. He was wonderful. Yeah, he was great. I didn't see false moments for any of them. Yeah. And granted, this wasn't the kind of depth you get for child actors in like the Florida Project. No. But if she doesn't, if they don't bring you believability in those moments it really ruins the power of the underlying story that's the most important which is yeah. the struggle that this family is going through with another solid actor man i immediately disliked the dad 
never stopped disliking the dad, and it's a credit to how well Raj Arjun, Raj Arjun played him. He did an exceptional job. He did, uh, I, and I, I, I recognized him immediately. Uh, we've seen him in uh, multiple things, Shamshara, mm-hmm. uh, and a couple he's other Very, things. very good he's, actor. He's a very good actor. He played everything real. Yeah. Um, and he, he assumed that uh, as the character... This is how I do things. This is this yep. is my life. I'm this in is charge. My life. I'm in charge. He and you should submit to that. He doesn't think he's the villain in this. He thinks he's right. He does exactly. I'd love. I what really real would, abusive people do. I'd love to have the conversation with him about it because of my my guess based on the final product of his work is that he's very much of the school of a trained actor who understands that you don't judge the character. Yeah. And that you find that's one of my acting coach Howard Fine who uh, you know starting back with him next week oh cool in person stuff i'm nice. so happy but he, he one of his things which comes from the uda hagen school of acting is you you really you must find yourself don't ask what would the character and do in this situation ask what you would do mm-hmm. and find yourself and especially in the negative characters because too often when we think of ourselves we think of ourselves as the hero all the time yeah and when we're for example in traffic and we cut somebody off for cutting us off we assume we were the hero in that moment i am without thinking about what the other person may think of us in the Fucking moments idiot. where we're the ass. No, I'm never the ass. That's right. I'm so, right. anyway, yeah, I, he I felt great. I he, loved they him. all did a but really good job. I, I want to shout out the mom who put yep. on a great Another performance. Another great performance. Uh, me, say her name for, for me. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, and forgive mispronunciation if it's not Meher, Meher. Um, or Vij. I'm, a, I'm going to assume the correct pronunciation is Meher Vij. She did but, a really good job. I loved the relationship that they built from the beginning with her and her daughter. I cared immediately about uh, everybody. Obviously, she came out and you see she's wearing these big old glasses and you're like, oh boy. Uh, and then obviously yeah. she's saying she fell down and you're like, mm. No. Uh, no, not that's not right. Uh, <laughs> no. And then, but like she did what a lot of people do. It's probably especially in India with with how the culture is there a lot of times. So, and uh, it looks like she couldn't read as well. So she's sure uh, probably not at least fully educated. Or yeah, they're I kept know, I don't know. ignorant. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, but it, her relationship with her daughter, you all always were rooting for it. And it was almost the daughter was kind of parenting her a little bit very much and the mom didn't want to stay but she saw no other option because she was like i need to care for my children i can't be on the streets right i mean i'll i guess i'll just this is my lot in life to get beat up all the time which this is going to seem like a weird segue Awful. but it's it's applicable that that whole current throughout the film which is clearly the heart of the film because at the very end it gives credit to moms and motherhood and to the the struggle of women in general that core story is at the heart of what we saw last night which was don't worry darling mm. um please don't it's another film i know this is an american film but it's a it is a film that has been kind of heard at the box office because of gossip and bs mm. when you're going to miss out on a really well done film that has at its core that it does have to do with the struggles of women mm. and I, I i felt that for for a family, I told that to Indrani watching it. She's asked me how it was, how I was liking it, and I said, "For a, they've done a really good job of making a film that's accessible to family to as young as like probably nine or ten, depending on how you parent your kid, but also introducing really uncomfortable subject matter that might be the very first time a child has to be introduced to it, like." Mm-hmm. Mommy, why is the daddy hitting the mom? Mm-hmm. And explain that there this happens, and you may have some friends whose mom and dad do that, and you need to understand that that's not right, and mm-hmm. you know, love them. One of my favorite moments, as far as like all of the gushy gushy, when he asks her what her password is, <laughs> that got you. Oh man, I I made an audible. Aww. I like the moment where the little brother tried to build the computer back. Yeah, that was. I thought that was really. That was really. Cute. There's there were several <laughs> super sweet, super cute moments. Yeah, and then then the whole obviously storyline of obviously you know the the new age of um, the internet using mm-hmm. the computer. Um, even though there's no way her audio would have been that good. <laughs> That's those are the forgivable things. Not, there's so many. I things. was not going to judge a fi- this that, film like the that. Audible being that you know, and her first video going viral like it did, and all the other stuff. There's a lot of stuff that well, does I, strain credulity for sure. Well, I thought that at first second, but then I was like, this might be a famous song from Bollywood, and so could that, be that would yeah, get it you, could be, and uh, that could get you the clicks. 
on top of the fact that she's absolutely wearing a, good. a burqa. It's not impossible. On top of the fact that she's yeah, wearing yeah, a yeah. burqa, and so then it'd be probably p- political, and so then it'd be talked about in the news. And yeah, so they obviously I wasn't going to judge this film like that. Obviously, they no. were they're going to tell the story of this kid who became an internet sensation, but obviously couldn't um, all that kind of stuff. And they did. I'm very thankful for a few things. They did justify. Like the connection to the attorney who could help her with the divorce. Yeah. They did justify the moment. I believed the climactic moment at the airport. I believed that the mom mm. finally, um, just as we watched uh, uh, Zara's character, she goes from feeling waif like and unable to defend for herself to like, I love the moment when she tells the man, that's my seat. Mm. That's my seat. Uncle, that's my seat. That she had to fight for that and she's made an example for her mom. Mm-hmm. And that that in a healthy mom-daughter relationship it goes both ways especially when the daughter reaches the age where she's starting to become a young adult. Mm-hmm. If you're a if you're a good parent, I feel you also begin to learn from your kids. Mm-hmm. They don't just learn from you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh what do you think about Amir Khan? I loved it. <laughs> I, it was at, it was so ridiculous, yeah, at, and at, I love it. At first, it. I was like, "Oh, whoa, yeah, this is a lot." <laughs> it, yeah, it is a lot to stomach. But then it it gets better, like because it opens with obviously him in there, kind of impersonating American Idol and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and it gets it gets better. But then I realized, like, oh, he's clearly putting a caricature on of a bunch of different kind of producers. He is, yeah, he's top. blending everything and making a caricature. Make, exactly. Uh, it's like it's like when people do uh, some people do drawings of people and it really looks like them, and then there's the over accentuated drawing. That's he him. was the over accentuated drawing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which actually I thought was, I liked. I thought it was fun to see Amir Khan in this ridiculously over the top yeah um just flat <laughs> we call everybody bebs <laughs> yeah, no. bebs. Hey, bebs listen super hit the bebs super, super hit, hit. <laughs> and i watched i uh, did you watch the number in the credits at yeah the, i had to yeah and i love at the very end of that when he goes that was a super hit if you don't agree change your taste <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i i also because for the longest time before i um, and I was kind of informed before as well, but for a long time, I thought this was an Amir Khan film. This is not an Amir right, Khan film. Right, I did too. Film. Obviously, right. he produced it, but and he's uh, he's supporting. not he's barely supporting. Yeah, yeah, but it's not. This is not his vehicle. This is her vehicle and the mom's and the vehicle. Mom. Yep, hundred um, percent. And and their even story. even her little friend is more supporting than Amir Khan, which I like the fact that you know. Um, I didn't know if it was going to be like come part of his story as well. Yeah, he was just supporting her story the whole time. The whole time they didn't really go into his. Like he, yeah. He, they didn't go into is his ex wife lying? Thankfully, or is it him? Thankfully, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like is he actually a garbage, garbage person? And, and another credit <laughs> Which to he it, he probably is. That's what I assumed he was he, probably garbage. Yeah. Another credit to it is, as always, you know, there's no reason under the sun except for the fact that the theaters need their intervals to make money. It's a business decision that's been going on for decades in cinema. I get it. This film does not need to be that long. Hmm. But it didn't bother me. How long was it? It was two and a half hours, a little over two and a half hours long. Oh, I didn't notice. That's the, the thing. Yeah, the, it didn't bother me. Yeah, the. Uh, but I thought the pacing was really good. The pacing was very good. It's just, you you really, you, you could trim it. Yeah. And that would be one of the few critiques I have of it. If I was going to say, if there's anything I'd do to, you know, I don't think I would trim anything. I actually, I, you like it? Yeah, it's I like I liked it because like I didn't. It even, didn't bother me that I didn't it was even, that long. I, didn't even, I just, I didn't even notice that it was two and a half hours. Yeah, I, it, it, it was. Just, it never it dragged. Was a happy, fun ride, and so I was just no long for it. it. Where'd it never, you get that Yankee mug? This is actually my dad's. I know, but do you bring it in? Yeah, I, I didn't it with see me. you bring it. No, I knew you were going to make hot coffee and so i brought this in to drink the hot coffee out anyways go on yeah so i um no i I, it never dragged for me it's just still my preference and it's i know it's conditioning of what i grew up with two and a half hours for this type of film is long the uh the score was beautiful. Yeah. All the songs and really, the score really nice. by our dost Ahmed Trevetti. I love the line when she was like, when she gets the email from Amir Khan, he said, why couldn't it have been A.R. Rahman? I, I did. I love that, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yep. Just shoot me an email. I'll Absolutely. send you his email. <laughs> no, I, I did, too. And what's important in a thing like this is to make sure that the songs that you claim are going to be these super hits actually are. 
Um, and when he started making her do the, the oh, sexy thing. I was like, thing, oh no, don't do that. I loved that scene. Don't do it. I love that he was fully sold, because that's going to be a hard thing to do, to be talking to a young girl and like trying to make her to sell it as a sexy song. Mm -hmm. His character would do it. Oh yeah. But as a person, I would feel so disgusting doing that with my counterpart actress who's that age yeah. having to make those sounds with her I would be like this is so disgusting but <laughs> it was hysterically funny and that too why would that character who's clearly a prick yeah. listen to her in the moment that strains credulity but I didn't care at that point I no. I liked that and the the ballad it's a very nice song it's a really pretty song oh the one that she turned it into yeah that's why I like I like the fact that her song that she writes that goes viral. Yeah. And then did the, she write it or she was that a Bollywood song? Or would, no, that she I covers. I, I didn't know. Yeah, that she, whatever it whatever it is, that song sounded good enough that I believed it would have gone viral as well as the ballad version of his song. It's a credit to the songwriting yeah. team I didn't of Rohit know, and I Amit. didn't know if the ones that she was doing on YouTube were her songs or if I don't remember. I assumed they were Bollywood songs that she was covering, and right. that's actually why she got the traction because um, you can, if you put a song title, it's going to pop up. Uh, if it's a popular Bollywood yeah. song, it's going to come up on people's feeds. And, and, and so that was actually. And did you notice what? Did you notice what? She really plays the guitar and the, the oh, notes. Yeah. The I, notes. The I notes, saw it and I was like, Rick's going to be happy. And the notes matched her fingers. I was like, Rick's going to be happy about this. Because it doesn't matter if you can really play the instrument if the notes don't match the fingers. And they matched very nicely. Thank you, director. <laughs> and her. She clearly learned. She did. But it's also, it's in the hands of the director because you could, as is the case, like in, in Andahan, he knows how to play the piano. But did the notes match? Come on. Yes. Revive it three years later. No. We need more. No, never. Yes. Never talk to me ever again. <laughs> um... But yeah, overall, I, I really loved this film. Me too. If I, because I, I, I strain to put it, I don't know if I, you have to, I guess. Like if you're ranking Amir Khan's films, the rest of his films are him in the lead. Yeah. I don't include Dildok Nadu because he's just a voice, obviously. That's not his film. It's not. It's still a very much, it's an Amir Khan film. Yeah. Kind of. But film. I, I don't include that no. like if I'm ranking his films. No, no, no. And But I'm like, he is enough in this that I guess you would have to include it in his films. I would. Um, but this would be, I mean, I don't know where specifically, but this is one that you just, I enjoyed fully. Through. I'd have, a, I got to tell you, I have a really hard time ranking the films. Amir Khan's films. Yeah, because. The last, the last one we watched was your least favorite, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I, it? I just didn't what like that it? one where he was the soldier in Kashmir, and I don't remember the name of it. Oh, Fana. Yeah, Fana. Yeah, yeah, Fana. Did not like that at all. No. Uh, but the immediate ones of Three Idiots and yeah. PK yeah, 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 and yeah, like yeah. Stars and Baju, uh, not Baju Ramastani. Yeah, um, I'd have a hard time. Rangda Basanti. I'd have a hard time. But this one would be one that would probably be one of the most easier watches of all if, of his. If I'm pointing people to the one that is the most elevative artistically, it's Rangda Basanti. Yeah. But if I'm talking about the ones that are stereotypically Amir Khan heart, which Three idiots, Lal yeah. Singh Chada is up there. Yeah, Lal Singh Chada is up there. Way up there for me. I obviously, you wouldn't do this one for like performance. You'd be like, okay, this is not his normal. He's, he's putting on a shtick. Okay. <laughs> no. This it, is a great film if you had like... Um, like if you had a family who wanted to know, is there a good Indian film that our family could watch together and we just enjoy and it would make us feel good? I would. This would be way at the this top. This is of my up list. there with like the Mimi's mom, the, the, uh, not mom. No, no, uh, mom. Sorry, English Vinglish. English Vinglish. Yep. Of the world stuff that's just you watch it. It's gonna have a good message, but it's gonna be you're gonna be happy most of the time. Exactly. Um, and and it, get great performances, especially from the kids. And I guess this director likes that style of film because. Um, yeah, Lost like Sing Stars Chata. on Earth, Lost Sing Chata. No, well, he didn't direct uh, like Stars on Earth. Oh, but he, was part of it. He was just part of it. Okay, because I think uh, like Stars was actually Amir Khan. Yeah, Amir Khan directed that one. Um, but I think he had another one as well. Or maybe not. Uh, but yeah, I guess he likes nice films. Yep. <laughs> Secret Superstar, short film, Lost Sing Chata. He's probably working on Lost Sing Chata for a long time. Probably. And hopefully it will be continuing its wave of popularity streaming because it deserves it. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. Uh, if you like the film, if you hate the film, if you hate us, well, let us know. Just yeah, let us know. The That's fine. Uh, and what should be our next Amir Khan? It's hard to believe. We have a lot more of I know. Amir Khan's films to uh, get to. Crazy. <laughs> Which is and would love to talk to you, sir. Yeah. Really would love to talk to you. Yeah. 
That'd be great. And to her again, if you want to act, please do. Please keep going. Please. Stop bullying children as well, you fucking weirdos. <laughs> so <Yeah>. weird. <laughs> Ah, your child. Well, you know. What's wrong with you? Well. What's wrong with you? It's the problem with a lot of the world of the human being for eons, which is predominantly. Well, if you read up about it, you'll discover a lot of it has to do with religious sentiments. I don't read. 